Hey guys, Dave Anderson here, Heli Cool Helipad. Welcome back to the channel. Hey, since last time we talked, you know, I just wasn't satisfied with this with this uh, wire bundle for the trailer, and my new part came in. Ah, this is going to be so nice. Look at all of those beautiful posts that I can put my solderless soldered connectors to <laughs> and I can change them out. I regret being so jovial about changing them out, but I remain thankful that I can. And do whatever I want to anytime I want. This is going to make it happen and this is what is going to make it look like it's really, really professional and nice. I also made a few improvements okay hey you might want to hang around till the end because i have an unveiling with the trailer and i'm also going to unveil the name that i have come up with the trailer i've got it painted and it is good to go all right well the last few minute kind of things and then it is good to go <laughs> you guys stay tuned Well, that's not too bad and this is turning out pretty doggone good and next will be testing right Woo! it is ready this is the actual epic build the dual monster cable splicing in and all that kind of jazz That's it right there. Same piece. The truth be told, if I had a nickel for every time I had to tear this apart and rewire it, I'd have enough to buy a Starbucks coffee. Alright, I got this one last thing to, to button up here. Anyway, let's take a look at what we got underneath. Looking straight up, there's the box. And I got everything kind of uh, wired tied up. There is the back side.
Man, I tell you what, it would sure be great to have a shop. So here I am looking around for a nut that I dropped. <laughs> I just love through bolts. Didn't I tell you that once? Well, hey guys, I do have an engine and a transmission in the background there, ready to go for sale anytime. Just give me a little ring and uh, I'll cut you a great deal on it. You know, it's okay to fail. It is, as long as you don't allow it to own you and you don't allow it to get the upper hand because, you know, once that happens, then you start being defeatist. So just keep driving on. I mean, literally there are four plugs, four wires that go to each plug in here. And I got one or two crossed. <laughs> it happens. Hey guys, I want you to check something out here. All right, right up there. That's where the thing plugs, that little pigtail plugs in. You see that one that's missing? Guess which one that one is. All right, just for laughs, under the truck. Ugh. Known as Patricia. Same thing, that, that pin is missing. So what does it go to? What a mystery. Well, it kind of does make sense that military trailers do not have reverse lights. So it kind of makes sense that there's no pin connecting any of the reverse lights because there's no reverse lights to turn on. So if you have a trailer, a civilian trailer that has reverse lights, well, I think you're gonna be SOL unless you tie in directly to the reverse light that is on the truck and get power from that. Uh, word of the wise, that's what you're going to have to do because there's no power coming through that pigtail because there's no pin giving power to those reverse lights. Out of the 28 wires going into that box, I did get two of them crossed. So, <laughs> whoops. Uh, yeah. So let's see if this works. believe that Stuart and Stevenson they decided that um, everything has to have its own wire including the seven pin or yeah the seven pin plug in in the back so I rung all of these lines out all of these lines out to that plug in the back thinking that, uh, well, the brake has got to be lined up with the brake and et cetera, et cetera, right turn, left turn, all that sort Bruh. of stuff. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Stuart and Stevenson thought that it would be a better idea to go ahead and give each of those a separate wire. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not awesome. really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Test try number 77, marker. Huh, well, will you look at that? Thanks, thanks there, uh, Stuart and Stevenson. That was awesome, I love that. That was so perfect. I just revel in all of it. It's just beautiful. Wow, that was so much fun, wasn't it? I just love it. It just gives me a warm feeling all over. <laughs> to finally have this done, I mean, it took me, it took me so much longer than what I expected. 
and I expected that plug in the back to be the exact wiring that actually goes to the lights. You know, working my way through the system to finally get to the point where, you know, this is the last thing that it could possibly be and figuring it out does give me a sense of relief and, and a happiness inside me. At the beginning of the video, I said that I was going to unveil the trailer and obviously I've got a lot of painting done, but I don't have it finished. And you're just gonna have to wait till next time so I can have a little bit of time to finish it up and I'll reveal the name next time in the next video. So until then guys, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there and God bless. Hey, just as a reminder, I do have merch. The, the store is on the description and you can find some pretty awesome and cool shirts. A lot of the shirts that I wear on the show, you can find also at my merch store.